Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Marcus here again. So this morning about 4.30, I'm lying in bed and I'm thinking about this struggle. I'm thinking about this travel road to lead to a different type of society. I'm thinking about 40 years of efforts, 40 years of glorifying the wonderful dream, speaking for it, advocating for it, taking chances, committing crimes to get attention, going to jail, to get attention, going to prison to get attention. And then I was just lying up there this morning thinking about what could I see as fruit from the efforts that I've made. The only thing I could see is my commitment. I couldn't see any response from society at large. And I began to wonder why is this happening like this? What is the problem? And so as I dove into thought, I got a pen and I began to write some notes that I'd like to share with you. It's called Living in Hell, which I have concluded, is choice. Everyone wants to live heavenly or as in paradise, where their needs, their wants, and desires are all met. In this, their survival is secure. This means, but not limited to, food and clothing, shelter and education and health care and participation in the process by engaging in a career of choice from all that benefit from therein. This practice also serves as the foundation for peace, the foundation for prosperity and freedom, the foundation for joy in life and fulfillment of dreams for all. Life's observation is that all the resources used to accomplish every dream is a resource given by an unseen power to a person, a people, a nation, or maybe a world that they may use their given talents and through the experience of joy, create their own heaven, create their own paradise. As spokesman and advocate of basic human rights for all, which is the statement just referred to, my hope is to advance a new perception of life's realities that would cause a reconsideration of what it means to make a change. A change from a system that says you, as an individual, have unlimited potential to advance your own heaven, your own paradise, by working within the guidelines of the system. You may use your gifts and skills to become a multi-billionaire and the benefits thereof, or downsize financially as you see fit. To advance such a system, the resources that were freely given to all now is possessed by some individual or company that plans to use such to exploit from the life of others to advance their own in pursuit of their heaven and paradise. Some other effects of this conduct are the creation of poverty for many which follows with crime and violence, which itself is a reflection of the deception necessary to maintain such a system that includes lying, cheating and stealing and hating and racism, bigotry, terror and war. So we live in a system that works against the masses for the benefit of the few. A few that have engaged in thousands of civil wars across the earth, a civil war even in the USA and two world wars and many conflicts to maintain the status of superiority of others who have to depend on such exploitation in order to survive. And it has been the challenge since time far spent. There are other stories that suggest a higher power helped free slaves from Pharaoh down in Egypt uh, to a promised land that did not appear. Many other groups of people in an expression of their understanding of a higher power have separated themselves from mainstream 
only to isolate themselves without an expression of interest for the family still living in darkness. There have been nations established having sought freedom from oppression and oppressive systems only to create their own oppressive systems. From the multi-billionaire all the way down to the minimum wage worker who considers themselves as making it will cleave to this system with all its pains and sufferings caused by lack of vision and wisdom before considering faith in the author of creation and change. As spokesman and advocate of basic human rights for all, my conclusion is that any system of government that causes pain and suffering to others as an expression of its legitimacy is a statement of its illegitimacy. It is the duty, it is the responsibility of all that knows better to do better. By so doing, you are a light in the darkness of life. It is by your shining that others see the path of real life. Not knowing, all humans give energy to the systems they live under, evil or righteous. There is no in-between, and there are no righteous systems in government today, as far as we know. The conclusion is that this is a personal, individual walk called the straight and narrow. In darkness, your home is your system. In the light, there is no home in darkness. Your life speaks to a different system, a system of life for all, not just a few. Such a one finds no comfort in being a billionaire or poverty-stricken. Both are slavery to evil. The conclusion, the heaven or paradise I advocate for all people will require a majority of Americans to care for one another. They have no knowledge of this. The answer to the master plan is it is in God's hand. The duty of the light is to shine. Many do not like this conclusion because they are not in the light. So they find comfort in the dark. But I want you to know that living in hell is choice because you can walk out of it anytime you choose. Thank you.